Hey, I'm D Price and Jeremy Morgan behind the camera here today. We're going to show you how to install an uh, Effley replacement nose on a Gene, Gene Smith's uh, whitetail form. Uh, it's pretty simple. I hope everything goes good and we'll see what we can do here. Um, first, you're going to start with the Effley nose. I, I guess most people know what they are, what they look like. We're going to take and uh, this is the way I do it. Um, some people might have a different way. First thing I'm going to do is take and draw a line right across, right up under the wings of the nose to give me a starting point. Same thing on the deer form. Right there. And with my calipers, I'm going to take a Take a measurement from that mark right to the back of the top of the nose. Just like that. And then come up here with the same measurement and mark the bridge of the nose where we're going to make the cut. And then on the side at the bottom We'll take a measurement right here, about halfway between the, the nostril opening. Come right here, do the same thing, make a mark. This is, these marks will get you close on where, where, where the uh, nose actually fit. Same thing on this side. And then you'll take these two marks that we made on the, under the under the nostril openings and just come in here and kind of eyeball the center where you'll make the second cut. And you're just gonna simply take a hacksaw blade, cut as get it as straight as you can, and cut straight down. <laughs> Even with your marks on your side here, where you, up under your nostril openings. Then the same thing right here. Back into the mantle. Not 
Safety saw it um, made by A Studio that you can get at most any supply, uh, tax owner supply, sells them now, sells it. It's good stuff. I don't really know how safe it is, but they call it safe. Just come in and start working, working it all in. Getting a good transition from the nose back to the into the mannequin. It's gonna look a little rough to start with. But you're just trying to get a good solid transition.
Uh, for video purposes, we uh, this this is a deer that I that I've done previously or earlier and set up. And as you can see, I already put the eyes in and roughed up the form and set the antlers and the, the epoxy scope was set up on the nose. So now we'll come back and sand it and blend it in, and it'll be finished. But um, if there's any high, there's always high spots. At least on mine, I always build it up higher so I can take it down and get a good smooth transition. So I, I use a Dremel tool with a sanding drum and hit the high spot. And you might want to turn a fan on to keep this stuff from blowing and just come back in the Sandpaper. I'll just come back and start smoothing everything in. Takes about two minutes. Fox is still sand is pretty good, pretty easy. You get a good transition. Try not to get into your foam and, and, and sand your foam off. You want to sand directly onto the on the epoxy scope. Foam's a whole lot softer and you cut into it and then you realize. It.